Hey. Hey, you. You want to see something neat? Well, get ready, baby. That's right, the Thunderhead Auto Cannon deals zero friendly fire damage. Why is it like this? Who cares? The point is, it's a cool little intricacy that's very easy to miss, and that's what this video is all about. Let's start off by talking about Beastmaster. It's a pretty intricate perk, so there's a lot to cover. Steve is affected by mission mutators, such as regenerative bugs, where Steve regenerates health. According to the internet, you can tame Ebonite Grunts, but infuriatingly, I can never get this to work. Also, Steve is immune to sticky flames. More tips. Falling on a dwarf breaks your fall, as does falling on an enemy bug. Be warned though, this doesn't work for all creature types. For example, loot bugs. If you hit exploders on the head, they don't detonate. By pressing Ctrl E, you set a waypoint that's permanent until you set another one. It's visible anytime you hold Ctrl and in the terrain scanner. Very useful for keeping track of cargo crates and such. Speaking of the environmental scanner, if you press space, your dwarf will turn to face the same direction as it. Very useful for finding your way through compacted dirt. You can hold H to get rid of the HUD. Pressing X calls Bosco to you, cancelling any other job he was on, including carrying something. Okay, that was the last of my general mechanics, now let's move on to some class-specific stuff, starting with the driller. First, a misconception. You see, you used to be able to break your fall by picking up an axe. Best I can tell, this is no longer the case, but I still see it being spread around. The flamethrower burns more than just bugs. It also burns the engineer's platforms, spiderwebs, and the environment in glacial strata. As for the cryo cannon, if a frozen enemy dies, its death effect is lessened, such as the radiation or poison from a Praetorian. Also, flying enemies and swarmers die instantly. Frozen enemies are vulnerable to melee damage, such as from the pickaxe, throwing axe, or drills. Killing an enemy with the power drills or impact axe also triggers vampire. Speaking of the power drills, stopping drilling at 99% is much faster than overheating at 100%. The impact axe is very useful on cactuses and poisonous mushrooms, as it isn't used up. If you're resupplying and have extra impact axes, you can just throw them on the ground as a stockpile for later. The neurotoxin grenade, as well as the poison from Praetorians, is flammable. That's enough of the driller, now it's engineer time. The deep core grenade launcher mines minerals. The breach cutter damages based on time contacting target and goes through walls. The LMG gun platform. If you have multiple turrets, you can press reload to select which one will redeploy. You can also hold reload to recall turrets at any time. You can resupply other engineers' turrets. If recalled, ammo is added to that engineer's stockpile. The proximity mine has four detonations in it before it despawns. It will also despawn three minutes after its first detonation. Also, small enemies like swarmers don't trigger the explosion. Engineer down, gunner to go. Cooling for the minigun is non-linear, meaning it cools faster the longer it's been since you last fired. This makes burst firing highly inefficient in terms of heat. The autocannon, in addition to its aforementioned lack of friendly fire, also mines slightly. The shield generator has a myriad of benefits, so you might not be aware of all of them. It protects you from projectiles, prevents glyphids from entering the space, increases the regeneration of personal shields, and also gives 50% damage resistance. The sticky grenade has a high fear factor, making most enemies run away. Now that the gunner's down, the scout will fittingly make it quick. For the M1000 Classic, the focus shots which consume two ammo can be cancelled by reloading or swinging the pickaxe. Also, the flare gun actually does 40 damage. Now here's some mechanics of no value which I couldn't find a way to place anywhere else. You can pet Doretta. If you press reload while equipping the minigun, he'll do this little spin animation, but if you switch to another weapon, it'll interrupt it, and you can resume it at any time. Pressing E and jump at the same time while landing on a barrel has crazy results. If you jump while sliding on this window in the space rig, you'll go really far. You can press or hold shift to center your view while grinding on a rail. Outro time. Apparently grabbers can pick up the engineer's lore, but I could not get footage of this myself, so there you go. This video might have a couple sequels. I'm sure I didn't cover every obscure mechanic in the game, so I want to cover those as well. And also, this video didn't really focus on any of the strategies that you can use with these obscure mechanics, and I would also like to make a video about that. So if you have any ideas, comment them down below. 